Hey, what's up guys? I'm Robert Riches. You know, one of the first videos I ever posted was me in a grocery store, walking around, showing you exactly what to buy and also what not to buy in order to prep your meals for the week ahead. That was over eight years ago. Since then, we've covered a lot of nutrition, food shows, workout and fitness related shows. But if there's one topic we haven't really touched upon, it's price. How much does it really cost to eat right for the week? Well, this got me thinking. So I looked at everything I was doing, priced it up and found out you can actually get all of the food that you need for a week for under $25 a day. In fact, even less in some instances. So follow me inside and let's have a look at the proteins, the carbs, the fats and the vegetables. I'll show you exactly what we need to buy to be able to prep the week ahead. Let's get going. Let's get some chicken and turkey breast. So all in all, I need uh, about I need two and a half pounds of chicken and three pounds of turkey. All right, shouldn't be too hard. Oh, this is really great. Ground turkey, I make uh, patties up with these and it's a pound each, so three of these. And let them on sale, nothing wrong with this, nice and lean, 93% lean, that's perfect. So these three would give me the amount of turkey I need. It's about seven and a half dollars, love that. It's a great price, all right, chicken. So two and a half pounds in total. I think I found again, multi-packs work well. See these, as long as they're uh, hormone free, no hormones, that's good enough for me. Certain quality that I look for. So two and a half pounds. And let's see, this is, uh, this is three pounds. So this right here, under $9 for all the chicken I need. No hormones, cage free, great A. So good quality, great price, love that. See, I've pretty much grouped all of my proteins, so that's all the protein. Let's shop for the protein first, and then uh, we'll work through our carbs and veg. Eggs. Uh, here's something I found when it comes to egg whites. Typically, I only use the, uh, the whites of the eggs. Yolks, they contain too much of the fats, extra calories, and I get my fats from other food sources. So instead of spending all the money on eggs, if you look at the cost per ounce, which always shows there, or per each egg, it's actually cheaper to get the liquid egg whites. So I do use some yolk, so I'm gonna get some. But really, I'm gonna get the liquid egg whites. So let's go find those. Look at that, 14 ounce per, 14 cents per ounce. Great price, and they're on a sale. Same type of protein, same quality that we need. Plus, saves time. I don't have to crack the eggs and throw the yolk away. Need about 18 eggs in total. This, 32 ounces, two pounds, yeah, easy. So let's get that, let's that done. All right, tuna next. You know, cottage cheese, I saw that just down there, so let's pick that up. Uh, ounces, so it works out about 18.5 ounces. This is 24 ounces and four dollars. So 2% milk fat, nothing high, even low fat, that's perfect. Having a shopping list is definitely a great way to save time, means that you're in and out of the store, you're the most cost effective, and you're sure to only buy the foods that you actually want to spend the money on, so you're not overspending. Next, um, let's look for tuna. Just under three pounds, 2.7 pounds for tuna. Tuna is one of those things that we can get good quality or there's cheap. I want to make sure I get the good stuff. Okay, wild caught, that's good, I like that. In water, good, I don't want it in oil, sunflower oil, something like that with oil. Excess calories, too much fat, I don't need that. We want to keep it in water or brine, seawater. So I need 2.7 pounds, 42 ounces. One of these is 12 ounces, so that's 12, 24, 42 ounces in total. 24, so that's four of these. Cost per protein though, it's, uh, it's a great price, so let's put those in. Okay, next up, whey and casein. This might be a little tricky to find in a grocery store. Whey protein and casein protein, probably the only things on this list that I'll get from a supplement store or buy online, but I need uh, 10 ounces of casein and 16 ounces of whey. And again, this is a grocery store, not the best place to get you uh, sports supplements from, so I'll pick them up later, but I'll circle them. There's something I'll buy once a month and I can easily stock up with that amount, but 16 and 10 for weighing casein. All right, let's move on to our carbohydrates and start with our oats. 
Oh man, this is the, the hardest aisle to come down. You've got the bread, you've got the carbohydrates, the sugars, that sweet smell. In fact, they literally pump in that smell to make you come down here and buy more stuff. But we're focused on what we're getting. We've got a list, we're gonna stick to it. Oats, porridge oats. Okay, we're gonna look for gluten-free. Actually, a lot of stores have them now. A little bit more money than your typical Quaker oats, but uh, I feel better eating these. So this is what we need, and we can cross this off our list. We need 11 ounces, so just under a pound a week. That's not much. This will last for about a month or two. So good cost there. Okay, we've got yam, brown rice, raisins, dates, and banana. They can be in the groceries. Look for, a, look for our brown rice next. I think we can head down here, get our raisins. Raisins are one of those things where they're not absolutely necessary, but I like them. They go in my morning oatmeal. A little bit of simple sugars in there. Easy to take out when we start to cut down, but they actually fit within my meal pan. They give me just that little sweetness in my, uh, my morning breakfast. All right, so we don't need too many at all. Again, this will last easily for a month. Just four ounces. Get a big bag here. That's 10 ounces, so this is, uh, this is easily two and a half weeks and two dollars, so I love that. Okay, brown rice and then everything else is on the way. Some people have a sweet tooth. I definitely love my chocolate. Dark chocolate, which isn't too bad, I have from time to time, but I'm not gonna buy it so it's in the house because then I'll eat it. Now, of course, there's things that I don't have on the list. Olive oil, coconut oil, things that we're gonna use to be able to cook the food. Salt and pepper, spices, different herbs. That's something that you can kind of add in and keep in the kitchen. This is something that typically we need each week. All of our fresh produce, our poultry, our chicken, our meats, our vegetables. So again, this list is really just to buy each week and how much that's gonna cost us. Now, brown rice is one of those staple foods for carbohydrates. Consume 1.2 pounds a week, so 20 ounces. So if we know we're gonna be eating a lot of brown rice, I'll get a large one, save money on that. Ooh, look at this. 28 ounces for $2, 20 ounces, so that's basically less than $2 a week for all of the brown rice that I have, which is at least once, twice a day. Got that. All right, let's move on to our veg, and with that we can get our, our yams, our dates, our banana, all of our vegetables, and most of our fats there. Cool. Okay, we're here looking at fats now. I can see flaxseed oil up here. It's a great high quality omega-3 fatty acid. Probably gonna have to get something like this. A little bit more money, avocado oil, walnut oil. In fact, this is a really great one. Good cost, high in omega-3s. That's the one for me. In fact, the only other thing we know is down there is my favorite almond butter. Let's head and get that. Jams and jellies, back down my favorite one. This really is a treat for me. I love my, my peanut butter, my almond butter. Thing to look out for is there's a lot of varieties here, often with extra sugar, salt, other ingredients. We want to get the healthiest one. Almond butter, a little bit more pricey than normal, but no added salt. Good fats in there, we're not gonna to consume too much. And if we look here, just ingredients. Now dry roasted almonds, that's good, it's just one ingredient. Even better would be to get raw almonds. Let's see if they have that as an option. If not, this will, this will certainly do. Coincidentally, this kind of stuff, powdered peanut butter. This is great when we're really starting to dial it in, cut down on our calories, we still get the flavor. I add this into my protein shakes, add into my nighttime meal. Still tastes like peanut butter, you can still add water, mix it up. And if we look at just how they compare, 150 calories from two tablespoons here, if we make it up with the powder, 45. So that's less than a third of the calories than something like this, but right now we'll go with our almond butter. Let's head and get our vegetables and then we're done. All right, so we do need our raw almonds there, meaning uncooked not subjected to heat, and with the bulk foods, we can get the best price here. Whole almonds raw, $9 a pound. We need five ounces, so less than half a pound there. Not gonna cost too much. We're only shopping for the week, so really we only need to get as much as we need. So 
That's about what we need. The amount of almonds we need for the week. Looks a lot, but if you look at that for seven days, really not that too much. Bananas, 1.4 pounds. Yeah, that's enough for us, about 630 grams. Okay, dates, 15 ounces, a pound give or take, $6. About a good handful, let's get a couple more. So our simple sugars, post-workout, high glycemic carbs. That's all of our carbs done, all of our proteins, just avocado for fats and then our greens and fiber. Avocado, 13.5 ounces, that's about three. All right, we've got our got our proteins, got our carbs and starches, we've got our fats, just vegetables. And for this, asparagus, courgette, with zucchini, kale, cauliflower, and green beans. Let's get enough of those to last for the week. Okay, greens and vegetables, kind of a free food. I don't count them nutritionally. They don't go towards my carbs. I don't count them as calories. I just have as much as I want in order to fill up that meal. So let's get enough kale, asparagus, and courgette. I love my asparagus, I grill that and bake it too. Not quite the season for asparagus, normally a little bit thicker and fuller, but it's enough there. $4 a pound, that's good. Green beans, let's get them bulk. Great, we boil these in a little bit of water with some salt, some lemon. Come out nice and tender, we cut off the edges. Beautiful. Green beans, asparagus, just need our cauliflower and courgette, and I see them both here. Go for our cauliflower, 88 cents a pound. We've got to wash everything when we get back, but that's a nice big one there. And finally, our courgette, or zucchini as they're called. Let's get a couple of each color. Mix it up, same price, same weight. Yams, final thing. How could I forget the yams? Let's pick those up and then we're done. Three and a half pounds of yams. Shouldn't be too hot. We're gonna get the big fat ones. I cut them up into cubes anyway, so more bang for our buck. This is great, baked, boiled. So many different ways to cook this. Season with a little bit of cinnamon. Spot on, so three large ones there. That's good for the week. All right, so we've got everything on the list. First glance, it might not look like we've got too much. Certainly enough food for a week, but as I've gone through the list, we've got everything on there. All of our proteins, our fats, our vegetables, carbohydrates. This is enough food to give me six meals every day of the week, and it should come in at under $16 a day. So let's head over to the checkout and see what our weekly total comes to. Nice, well there we have it. We've got all of our food needed for a week and that's six meals a day seven days a week for about a hundred dollars if you think about it if you go out to a restaurant nice meal pretty easy to spend a hundred dollars on a meal for two and that's one meal for you so we've got seven days worth here all right tune in for our next video i'll give you an exact meal by meal breakdown of how i make use of this food and how you can eat for basically under twenty dollars a day good nutrition the next week we'll show you more from this nutritional series take care